Well, it's a brand new day, and I have got a lot of terraforming done. I cut down a lot of trees, I leveled some of the hills, filled in some of the gaps and open areas. Uh, we have Endermen apparently leaving me presents just to, uh, just to irk me a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think now is a good time to take a little break from some of that terraforming and go on a small adventure. Uh, you might see we have a new doggo over here. Uh, we found him while we were terraforming, uh, and our original doggo, who you'll be getting a name soon. Uh, but he's got a nice white collar, that way he can, we can keep him separate of which one was the first one. So, uh, our horse is excited and dancing away. I'm sorry, horse, you are not going to come on our adventure today, because we're going to hop in a boat, and we are going to head south, and just see what we can find. Uh, whether we find some more doggos, whether we find some armadillos, which would be pretty awesome. Or if we just find some other fun and exciting things. Uh, sometimes going on a little exploration is just uh, a good way to break things up. So we got our cape floating in the breeze and we are going to cruise across, I'm assuming there's a big ocean. Um, if it is, well, I will definitely just kind of cut parts of it out. Nobody wants to see me just slowly rowing across endless bodies of water, but uh, eventually I think, oh, we should get some uh, we should get some brushes and see if we can find some pottery shards in uh, some of them water temples. That would be a fun thing to do at some point. But right now, it looks like we are just water all around us, so we are we are going to be cruising through the water, and we'll see if we can find some fun and exciting things. Well, the first thing we came across is this small little, like, plains and sandy beach biome, but it looks like we got a bit of a savanna going on right next to it, so I think what we should do is we should go look. Um, I believe there's new wolf variants in the savanna, and there should be some armadillos, maybe? Um, oh, oh, what's that? <gasps> It is. It's an armadillo. Oh, you're coming with me, buddy. We are going to... Oh, oh my gosh, there's three of them right there. Okay. We are definitely going to put you guys in some boats. And and we got some leads, so we should be able to just, uh, you know, bring them along. Oh, okay, there's one. And let's see. We should be able to put a lead on the boat, right? We can do that. That's a thing now. And the boat comes with us. Oh, transporting things just got so much easier. Uh, all right, where did where where did this guy go? Come here. You want to go on a boat too? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we're we're headed back. I uh, I know I didn't make it very far, but you know what? When you got two armadillos, you can make baby armadillos. So we are definitely going to get these two back so we can start getting a whole bunch of some scoot from these guys. Um, I, I don't have any sort of brush on me at the moment. So uh, in Aura, we'll have to bring them back. We'll have to bring them back. And that, that'll be fine. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys just stay right there. Let me see. Do they have... They're supposed to drop scoot as well. Anybody dropped any scoots? What about you? You have not. Um, I thought they were supposed to like, oh, there they did. I mean, if you run around too fast, then they'll ball up. But where is, look at the little baby one. Oh, he's so cute. Look at you, look at him just like run, 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 run. Oh, yeah. Armadillos. I mean, they have definitely started making some really cute mobs in Minecraft. Uh, the frog, the armadillo, uh, pandas are pretty cute. Uh, sheep, you guys are, you guys are just old and boring. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> but let's see. I don't see any, any scoot laying on the floor. Maybe they just haven't been spawned in long enough to drop any so 
I guess what we'll do is we'll just grab the two that we have and head back. And then we'll come back this direction and see if we can find um, some of the new wolf variants or, or something else. But let's pop in our boats and we should be able to bring both of them along at the same time. And do we have the other guy? We do. Okay. It's... Oh, and I just... Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that new mechanic. So, we're going to head on back. Uh, we did notice um, right before we landed, we have like double double ocean monuments. Because there's one there and there's one right there. Like, they're not really that far apart. Um... So yeah, we'll definitely keep that in mind. At some point in time, we can go on a nice little ocean monument uh, raid, excavenger hunt. See if we can get some uh, armor trims out of there. Some sponges that might come in handy in the future. You know, just a lot of, a lot of new things to scope out in a brand new world. And a lot of new fun things to explore, especially in Minecraft 1.21. So we were almost back home. Uh, home base is right over there, kind of by those trees. And then I heard it. Our armadillo shed a scoot. So look at that. Oh, we got one scoot already. He uh, he couldn't even wait till we got back home before he, he, you know, decided to drop one with scoots. But, I mean, it is getting dark, so it is perfect timing. Uh, we'll get back. I... Right. I'm back and forth on whether I should put these guys in a quick little, like, uh, scoot farm where we just kind of, you know, plop them on top of a hopper or if I just should, you know, just kind of let them be for, be for the time being. Um, I guess for right now we'll just bring you both up, up to shore here and we'll collect our, oh, there we go. Okay. Now that we got... Our lead back. We'll take a little rest here. I feel like I... I mean, we don't need a whole bunch of armor scoots. And if we use a brush, we can get a whole bunch really fast. So I think what I'm going to do is let's do this. Let's see if we can make... Uh, we'll just make a nice little fenced-in area for them right away. I don't want to leave them right there on the beach. Because things get dangerous out there. There are definitely drowns that like to spawn. And some of them have tridents. And that's that's definitely not a safe place to be then. So let's just set up a temporary little pen for these fellers. And then we can go back out on our adventure. Let's see. Can we break the boat without hurting this armadillo? We sure can. There's one. Come with me. Come on. Oh, see this guy dropped a scoot too. Cool. All right. Well, we got two of them already. How about that? And you come with me as well. Come on. Watch out for the campfire. It's a little hot. Oh, the, even the big ones run kind of, <laughs> kind of silly, like, oh, all right, all right. Let's get you in your new little pen area. Come on in. Come on in. And you know what? I, what was that? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. Uh, we, we have spider eyes, don't we? We do. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, these two eat spider eyes, so make a baby. I should get birds and the bees, right? First one? First one? No? What else? Oh, that's right. I... <laughs> that's gonna catch me off guard. Uh, I had a... <laughs> I had bred some turtles. I completely forgot. It looks like all the eggs actually have hatched. Um, I don't know where the babies are. Maybe they're somewhere. Maybe they got trampled on by zombies. Um, 
But yeah, I think the turtles, breeding the turtles is where we got our birds and bees accomplishment from, but I'm going to drop off a few things and head back out on the adventure back to where we were uh, to see if we can find uh, some uh, more cool and interesting things. Well, I have looked all over this savanna. Um, I mean, I found a whole bunch of armadillos, uh, which is kind of cool. I did find some copper too, so we actually made some brushes and got 22 scoot. Um, but I see over in the distance that we have we have some badlands, so maybe we can find something good there, uh, whether it be some mine shafts up on the surface. Uh, I don't know if any of the new wolf variants spawn over in the Badlands, but I'm definitely going to go on my way to check it out. Uh, I've also been getting rid of uh, some of the cows so we can get some leather so we can make books because I got 32 levels and I would be it would be awesome to make a nice fortune uh, pickaxe uh, with some of the diamonds that we have. Or maybe just enchant some other stuff, but uh, we don't have enough books, I think, at the moment. Uh, ten leather, that's definitely not going to do it, but let's head over this way. I did also see that over on that side, uh, there is there's a jungle biome. Uh, can we see? No, that's just regular trees. Uh, but I did see there's a jungle biome, so we do have a nice little variety uh, hello, Mr. B. How is it going? So I think what we'll do is we'll definitely go over to the Badlands first. And then go check out the jungle. See if there's anything fun and exciting going on over there. Uh, and then probably in the meantime, I'm going to check the wiki and find out where all these new wolf variants actually spawn. Because it doesn't pay to run around and check a biome if there's not going to be a chance of a new wolf variant in that biome at all so uh that's kind of strange so it's like desert badlands and grass but let's let's see oh we got some cactus oh we can definitely get some cactus another ruined portal to check out yeah definitely definitely a good thing oh let's get some cactus right away you know pick up some of the stuff that you don't come across very often uh, my inventory is, oh, it's about half full, but that's all right. I think we are finding some cool stuff. Whoa. Oh, it's a dripstone. Do I need dripstone? Should I get some? Um, maybe. Well, maybe we'll find a, a, a better spot to get some. So I'm going to check out this Badlands, see if we can find anything interesting over here. Uh, we got some big old hills kind of coming in over there, but yeah, definitely a nice fun break of just exploring uh, rather than doing nothing but terraforming. So, uh, oh, look at that. We got some dripstone that's a lot easier to get to. Uh, quite an interesting cave entrance too. Looks like, ooh, looks like it goes down quite a ways. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't survive that fall. Uh, so we're actually getting pretty low on durability for our... Oh my gosh, look at all the copper. Uh, uh, five dripstone. Okay, that, that'll be good. Oh my gosh, it's like, a, it's like a copper vein, I think. It's pretty dark in here, and there's definitely a lot of bad guys, I bet you, around, so... Yeah, we're not going to hang out in here for, for any more longer. Uh, we got our dripstone. Let's grab a few blocks just in case as well. Can always set up a small little dripstone farm. And, you know, grow our own dripstone. But what is over this direction? Looks like it's getting to be nighttime. So we're going to have to set our bed down and sleep again here in a little bit. But, oh, it looks like there's some more jungle behind us or in front of us. Um, what is all down here? Another big old chasm. 
yeah, quite the mountain, quite a lot of ways to get inside. I wonder if it's all just kind of open underneath it. Um, yeah, copper just all over the place and some gold in there. Um, but I think it's time to set down the bed and take a little nap and see what we can find in the morning. Well, looks like we're coming across a desert temple over on this edge of the Badlands and the kind of the big desert hill. That is, that is quite the interesting hill. Uh, what do we have for durability? 16, oh boy. Hopefully there is nothing too scary inside here. All right, so we got just a spider. And uh, we probably should put our shield on. Where is our shield? Just in case. Don't need anybody sneaking up on us. And are these... Oh, there's some, some suspicious sand. But let's do this. Let's dig down. I think we can dig down right here, right? Yeah. Hopefully our pick does not break. We'll get rid of the pressure plate. And where do we have some torches? Let's light this place up a little bit so you guys can see. Uh, holy bones. That's a lot of bones. And what do we not need? We don't need that stuff or that stuff. We'll take the gold. And the string, maybe? Gunpowder will be helpful. Iron horse armor is good for now. Oh, another saddle. Uh, what do we not need? I don't think we need dirt. Another golden apple, some more bones. Oh, yes. That is all. Oh, that is a lot of bones. We will definitely be able to get a lot of dogs. And... Sticks? Do we need sticks? Let's get rid of the sticks for now. Um, oh, and there's... I forgot about the TNT. That always comes in handy too. Oh, decisions, decisions. Uh, I guess the spider eye we don't need. We can always get some more spider eyes. All right, is this going to be enough blocks to get out? I don't think so. So close. Oh, and of course our pick has to break. And okay, we're out. Well, I think it's about time that uh, we just kind of run around this side here, see if there's anything interesting. Head on back, unload all the goodies that we have found, and then just kind of continue looking around, seeing what other kind of interesting things we can find. I think we got some water on that side, another gigantic cave. Some spiders. I have not come across any more dogs though. Definitely going to have to check the wiki to see where do the dogs spawn. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to check out the nether portal on my way back home. We'll drop off everything and we'll see if we can find a new biome to check out and see if we can find any more of these new wolf variants and add some more doggos to our, our group of little friends. Well, look at that. We were on our way back to back to our little uh, area and guess who we came across. Look at this. Look at, uh, come on. You be, be my friend. Be my friend. Yes. Oh, look at that. We got another one. You you come with me and we're going to get you as well. Oh, yeah. One bone. OK. So we got, <laughs> we got we got two of them. We we're actually gonna come over and kind of see if this um, uh, shipwreck had anything good, but uh, we don't need to because we have. You can come with me. You can come with me, and we are gonna go. We're gonna go for a little ride. Ready? You guys just swim along, okay? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. And I think we need to head that way to get back home. But we got another jungle here. We got some bamboo growing, uh, which will be great. I don't know if we have any bamboo just yet. So we'll definitely have to come back, sneak some of that stuff. 
and uh, yeah, keep searching around for some new friends. Well, I've dropped off all my goodies. I have ventured back across the ocean, and now it's time to see what is actually hiding in this sunken ship over here that's uh, not really sunken, more just kind of buried. So uh, is there going to be anything good, or is it going to be one of those kind of not so eventful, helpful ships? Let's see, where is, where is the chest? Is there a chest in here? There should be one, right? Where, there's no chest. There's a chest down, oh, it was just hiding. Ooh, some good stuff, some, uh, another diamond, and some more armor trims. Oh, that's nice. Let's see. Is there anything more to the ship? Or is this going to be going to be all of it? Um, looks like it kind of goes this way. Do we think that there's anything else in it? I feel like there's not enough of the ship to have anything more good or useful inside here. Right? It's going to be kind of, kind of what it's going to be, isn't it? Oh, there is another chest. Some more books. Oh, yeah. Oh, and another buried treasure map. Nice. Okay. So let's, oh, let's see if we can get out of here. And up we go. And now it's going to be time to check this out. And we need to go south, which is this direction. We aren't, we're not even close to the X, whether we're not even on the map, so might be a little bit, but I think we need to head south, what is it, southeast? We are heading south and east, so yeah, maybe it's just right over here, which would be kind of nice. See what we can find in our buried treasure. Well, we are getting close. We're actually starting to fill in part of the map. So this is like, this is right where I first came over, like initially. So we are, yeah, we're right, we're right here. Oh, uh, where is our shovel? And, oh, we're going to be underwater. So let's see if we can find the nice little trick of finding out where we are. So nine... And nine, so it should be right, right here. Oh, oh, right here. Oh, look at that. Oh, we got some iron, we got some gold. Oh, we're just gonna take everything. We'll just take everything there is. Oh, we're drowning, we're drowning. Okay. All right, well, guess what? Buried treasure map, don't need you anymore. Don't need you. And some water breathing. Some some food. That's pretty nice. Okay, now we can head back. Because we never did collect any of the bamboo while I was over here. I uh, got so excited about the treasure map that just kind of left the area. But definitely want to get a few pieces of bamboo. Want to get a few jungle tree saplings. So we have a nice variety of different wood styles to work with. Uh, I did grab some acacia saplings while we were over there before. And I know that we have oak and spruce and cherry. So I guess dark oak and, oh, I think we also have some birch. So I think after this, dark oak is the only thing left. I think so. Nothing else is popping into my head at the moment of other wood types that we'd be missing. So let's go ahead and grab some bamboo, grab some saplings for some jungle trees. And get a nice variety of different things we can work with. So, And not the first piece of bamboo I've gotten. Where have I gotten bamboo from before? Must have got some from uh, some other sort of treasure chest or something. Shipwreck or uh, 
a treasure map or something like that, but I'm going to collect a few of these saplings and we'll kind of continue running through the jungle here to see if we can find any other interesting things going on here. So there's a blue parrot right in front of me and I, I think I want a parrot friend. I think I want to get as many animal friends as I can. Um, so let's see, if we collect a whole bunch of seeds, uh, five, five seeds, is that going to be enough? Do you want to be my friend? No, 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 oh, come on, you want to be my friend, six, no, uh, okay, don't go anywhere, I, I'll collect more seeds, um, you never know how many seeds these parrots are going to want to be your friend. Can I... Okay, we got five more. Five more seeds. <gasps> of course, it just takes one. <laughs> well, hello! Oh, you get to join all the other friends back at the village. Oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Um... Apparently we have jungle turtles. I didn't know jungle turtles were a thing. And I mean like a lot. Like there's two there, one there, one there, three back there. Why are there so many jungle turtles? I think, oh, there's, did I count you? I'm not sure if I counted him. Uh, yeah, jungle turtles, a whole lot of them. Uh, we got... Mr. Parrot, are you making silly noises? Are you? Uh, it's the one thing that's kind of, kind of interesting with parrots is they can make, uh, noises that make them sound like not parrots. And sometimes it can be kind of, kind of scary, kind of, kind of freak you out when all of a sudden they make a uh, creeper noise or something like that. Look at that. Look at him. Oh, I was looking for another bird. I wanted, I was looking for a second one. Figured if I get two of like, <laughs> if I can get two of like all the animals that I collect, hopefully we, you know, you can, you can breed them together and you can make more. And oh, look at that. Now we got two lovely birdies. Oh, come with me birdies. We have one more little adventure that I want to go on. And that is, I saw over here that there was a giant, like, fully intact, I think, sunken ship. Now, we don't quite have uh, the storage space for it. So, I think what we're going to need to do is, well, we got to get rid of this. But I think what we need to do is make a chest boat. Um, using an axe would probably work a little faster. So if we go like this and that, we can make ourselves a chest boat. We'll pick up our crafting table, but not you. And it's getting to be dark, so let's let's pop in here. Let's throw a whole bunch of stuff in here that we don't quite need at the moment. And come with me, birdies. <laughs> Look at that. They're just hanging out on my shoulder. Oh, they love it. They love it. All right. Well, you, you're not going to be able to hang out on my shoulder the whole time. Uh, cause I'm going to be going underwater. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm sorry birdies, but you know what? You're going to have to find a new place to rest your heads or your feet. What do you want? Uh, there's another one. Oh. Lots of them. Oh, and then there's a ruined portal, but we're not going to touch that. But hey, birdies, at least you'll have the top of the ship that you can hang out on. Let's do this. Let's give you a little bit of light. And I'm going to pop down there, birdies, see what I can find. And I'll be right back, okay? Not sure where you went, but don't stay on my shoulder the whole time.
it's going to be pretty dark. Let's see if we can light it up for you guys. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of iron. Uh, a lot of lapis. And let's get back up. Uh, and the birdies are just hanging out in the boat, I guess. And let's see, where else can we look into? For some reason there's gravel in the boat. Uh, what's in here? More paper, books, awesome. Buried treasure map, we'll have to check that out here in a second. More paper, and, oh, gross potatoes. Can I get in the boat too? Can I get in the boat? I can't, what? I can't get in the boat. Uh, good thing I have a second boat. Because I will just we'll ride in that boat if I can. And let's see, we'll put our lead on that boat and we'll ride in this boat and everything will be good, right? Right? You're going to come along, birdie? Come on, birdie. We'll turn the lights off. Just so it doesn't seem like we're cheating too much. Come on, bird. You can do it. Make sure that birdie's coming with us. Come on, birdie. Don't, don't rest in the water. What are you doing? Oh, this might take a while to get back. Well, after another brief stop home and uh, two run-ins with some trident drowns, uh, one of them was actually right at my base and I get nervous because when they start throwing man they they could take out any of the wolves or our birds now that we have um yeah there's there's the horse like there's a few things around there that uh their tridents could why are there floating rotten potatoes I haven't explored this one yet have I I don't think so let's turn on some lights and oh yeah this is definitely one I've looked at. Um, wait a second. Does that mean? No, there was two of them. That's the one. Did I look at both of them? No, I skipped one of them. I know I skipped one of them. I must have looked at that one at a previous time then. Um, <laughs> I was having a fun time with the parrots trying to find things and I decided to just drop them back off at home so uh, I guess um, I guess we'll, we'll check out this treasure map uh, and then after that I think it'll be time to head on back and kind of see what all goodies I have collected and maybe start working on a little bit of a, a starter house I'm um, going to be going for something pretty clean and simple. I don't think I'm going to have any like massively big builds or anything like that, but I have an idea in my mind of kind of what style I'm going to be going for. So we'll have to see just kind of how that turns out, but looks like we should be right around here. I think we have to head north just a little bit. And is this what I've already found? Maybe not. Where? It is, yeah, north, right? North. Move it over this way some more. Uh, okay, I think I'm right under it. So let's do our nine and nine. And do we have a chest? We do. Okay, more gold, more iron, more potions, another diamond. And we're just going to put the chest in there because there is no point in keeping it. And we are stuck in the sand. Um, it's another big giant hill. A bunch of cows and horses. Yeah, I think what we're going to do actually is let's let's get some more leather 
And when I get back, maybe I'll work on a little bit of a temporary, oh, sorry, little guy. A uh, temporary enchanting setup. See if we can get enough bookshelves made. And see if we can start enchanting a few things. Just to make, uh, you know, collecting ores more worth it. And maybe we can get um, some efficiency on some tools. But yeah, I'm going to head on back. I think it's time to kind of take a little break from our adventuring for now. See if we can start building up a little bit of our base area. Maybe set up a little bit of a bigger starter house rather than just the lean-to little tent that I have. So I'm going to go for another long boat ride and we'll see you guys when we get back to the base. All right, well, I got all the pieces in my inventory to make a lovely enchanting table. We got our 15 bookshelves and a grindstone. So I think for now, I think we're just going to set it up right here. It's kind of just a little temporary enchantment area. And let's throw our bookshelves down. And let's see, we'll do one there and one there. And if we grab a few pieces of lapis, uh, there we go. Now we got some lapis. Uh, let's start off with a diamond pick and let's see what we can get there. The sun is going down. So, I mean, hopefully we got unbreaking. Um, Let's roll with it and see what we got. Efficiency and then breaking. I was, I was really hoping for fortune. Uh, we already got, I think it's efficiency in here, right? Yeah, efficiency and an efficiency. Um, I mean, it'll definitely help, but let's do this. Let's sleep real quick so nobody shows up and tries to hurt us or anything and let's disenchant it and try our luck one more time efficiency four and that's it oh i i was hoping for hoping for something good uh fortune two uh, let's go with that for now. Fortune 2, that's fine. Uh, we don't have, uh, an anvil, but we could put our, our fortune and our efficiency on it. And, I mean, that would make us mine a lot faster, but I guess unbreaking it would have been good as well, so. You know, let's... Let's just disenchant it one more time. And once we get some more levels, we'll try our luck again. And, but yeah, uh, definitely a good episode. We got ourselves two more doggos. We got ourselves two birdies. We got some armadillos over here that are dropping scoot every now and then. Looks like the little baby has grown up. Uh, I'm not sure which one's which anymore, but. Yeah, definitely a good start. Got a lot of terraforming done off camera. And I think that's probably what we'll get back to. Uh, we we got to find some cows, though, as too. That would definitely be helpful to have something other than baked potatoes. But no rush on that. We already got the enchanting setup done. So I don't need any more leather at this point in time. Uh, we got our trees that are growing. Our crops are growing. Our horse is just loving everything, don't ya? You just love it all. Can't stop dancing. So yeah, I think I'm going to start working on a little bit of some setup of what the initial part of our little village is going to look like. Uh, might have a few things to cook up. Make some stone and some smooth stone. I have a lot of... Uh, uh, well, there's some tough there's some more tough somewhere right no well I thought I had more tough um, 
What do I do with the tough? I thought I had a few stacks, but I mean, we do have the new tough variants to play with as well. So I think that'll be kind of fun. Play with some of that, play with some of the new copper blocks that we have. But yeah, I'm going to put my lapis away for now. Uh, we'll put our, our, our diamond pick in here just, you know, for a place to put it. And start working on uh, the new little village area.